Hello everyone. Today we're out here near Lake Pleasant and we're going to be looking for some geodes and agates. This area is well known for geodes. I found them here before so I'm going to take a look in this watch and see what we find today. And the first find of the day is this agate right here. It's got a decent amount of layering to it. It's just a white. We'll be taking that with us though. This one's interesting. This agate is still in the host rock. It's kind of got a pinkish color to it. One interesting thing that I found is that there's a lot of of this sparkly mica around. And sometimes in mica schist you can find garnets. Oh, and speaking of rocks, there's another little agate. A lot of a lot of them are in this kind of bubbly shape around here but nothing that I'm quite looking for unfortunately I'm gonna walk downstream a ways there's some people upstream doing target practice a ways and I'm not gonna walk in that direction so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go downstream and see what we can find more towards Lake Pleasant I'm not having a bunch of luck here on this wash I uh, have seen tons of quartz, which is really cool, but not quite what I'm looking for today. And a lot of mica schist, a few okay agates, but nothing to really write home about. So I'm gonna go up to the next wash, just to the north and see what I can find there. Stick around. All right, I found the next wash I'm searching and I'm making my way along. And what do I find? Here's a big agate. Let's see if we can get this guy out. Oh. Very big, indeed. I forgot the spray bottle, so I'm going to be washing this up at home and showing you what it looks like there. I wasn't able to get all of this off, but I did, I was able to reveal this beautiful face right here. And these are big holes that reveal an interior betroidal agate. I think this one's an incredible agate. I don't know if it'll tumble real well at all because of all the holes and divots all throughout it, but I do love that layering and it is slightly pink. So that's really nice. Well, it's not a full geode perhaps, but it is a nice little pit. Nice little plate of quartz crystals that I just found. I don't know what that is, but that's a little agate nodule. I'll take this little guy home. I could keep going up the river, but I just haven't found too much. So I might just work my way back and just uh, consider my wins for the day. So we'll see. Maybe I'll find a few on the way back to the car. There's just some beautiful calcite crystals all through this rock here. It's beautiful. Here we go. I think that might be one right there. Yep. The inside of a geode. So we're in the approximate area. It's somewhere along here that it's been washing in, probably from off in that direction. So I'm going to keep scouting this riverbed. Here's one. It was glowing. There we go. There's a little agate. I'll probably leave that one. All right. I see this. And that is just so sparkly and full of quartz crystals that I got to take that. That's very interesting. Here we go, look at this. That's just a big quartz vein, broken apart, going all the way, all the way through this rock. I won't take it, but I think that was pretty cool. I'll put you back. All right, let's see what we can grab here. Let's look at this, this little plate. Interesting. Very cool. I 
glanced down and happened to notice this. Whatever this, oh, oh wow. Oh wow, that's a nice agate right there. It's like glows a little blue on the top. That's amazing. Even though I wanna continue out here for the rest of the day, I have to pack for a flight that I have tomorrow after work. So I actually have to go get ready and clean and pack. And why am I rock hounding today? Oh, it's right, because rock addiction, man. We love rocks. All right. Well, that's it for me today. Hope you all have a great day. See you next time.